Martini syndrome, it starts with you. Yes, it starts with you. What you allow really plays a huge role. And when you get to be depressed because people are not noticing all the money that you spend on that Louis Vuitton bag, on that Gucci bag, that ugly bag, well, Gucci is nice, some are ugly, whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that you will be spending so much on something and then the next thing, no one is actually paying attention. But you are doing that because you want someone else's attention. What is the point of doing all of that? What is the point? So. Long to long to long to long to Hamanae. The Hamanae. Long to long to. Hey, real fam. Don't mind me. <laughs> it's too hot. Today's topic is too hot. I really needed to have that sip, okay? I know when I start talking, I won't be able to be drinking and all that. So, yeah. I just needed something cold so I'm advising you to grab some water something cold you know I'm a lover of coffee but no coffee today I promise you this topic is too hot anyway if it's your first time on my channel welcome my name is Antali and this is a real talk with Antali a channel where you can expect everything empowerment and transformation and this can be in your business and of course in your personal life so any of those so, whew, back to the topic. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Today's topic is Abantubazotini syndrome. So, let me translate that to English. So, what that basically means is that you worrying about what others have to say about you, right? So, that is what we're talking about today. So, now you might be sitting there and thinking, Mm, it's 2021 like we've got bigger problems who is actually worrying about what other people have to say about them well I've got news for you we still have those people we still have those people that are worrying about what others have to say we still have those people that take a hundred pictures only to post one just because they feel like oh that one wasn't perfect I think my toes were not looking nice on that one I think my, my position was not nice whatever the case may be and of course that that decision is based on what will people say what will people think of my post anyway enough about the posting and everything so Abatubazotini syndrome, it's really something that it is a problem. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to help you to be able to let go of all of that. And of course to realize if you are actually suffering from that syndrome, okay? Because you might be thinking, no, I'm not worried about what other people think. I want to find that you are. So, there can be different signs. Maybe what I'm going to say might resonate with something that is happening in your life. So, if there is something, do comment and of course, let me know what you've been suffering from. Or if you know a friend or two that are going through the same thing, right? Now, before I start, let me say this. Your business is your business. No one else's. Your business is nobody else's business. So it's important for you to understand that letting other people in your business means that you are giving them the freedom to actually play in your business and do whatever that they want in your business. No one will know your business until you tell them. So let me make an example. Social media is the biggest platform that we love, that we appreciate that we get to share each and everything that we want and all that, right? So we share everything. So how do you allow people in your business? By obviously sharing everything. So we have a problem of oversharing. So if you overshare information, then be rest assured that you are allowing the people to be a part of your business. And of course, to take part. And taking part can be commenting, asking questions, um, sharing that, and all that, right? So, that so you might feel like what I'm saying is not really it, but just think about it. Before you can say anything about your life or what's happening in your life, no one knows about it, right? The minute you say that, that's when people start to know about it and everything. 
So putting your business out there has an advantage and a disadvantage. So the disadvantage is that when you put out your business, put out your life, and then when now things don't go the way they used to go, when you are not doing the things that you used to do, and now you can't actually go back to say, you know what, I can't do this anymore because of one, two, three, because you've given or painted a picture of your life and painted a picture of how things are, right? So I want to do a Zotini syndrome. That's where it comes in. Where now you are more worried about what people are gonna say because of what you have given them or the business that you have, you know, provided to the world. Sharing your business. So sometimes you have to understand that sharing each and everything that is happening in your life is really not it. It's really not it. Know your limits, darling. Know your limits. But now, let me say this. It doesn't matter what you do, whether you do good, whether you do bad, people will always have something to say about you. Whether you're doing great, whether you're doing bad, someone is going to have a say. I will make a typical example with Twitter. With Twitter, on Twitter, you can just have a random tweet and someone will say the nicest things and then you'll get this one who will say the weirdest, cruel thing ever to hurt your feelings or just to poke you or something like that. So you will always get those people. So it's all up to you whether you're gonna take that, what people say, or you're gonna just look at it and ignore it and move on, all right? So it's all your choice. It's all your choice because that's, that's what I'm basically saying. People will always have something to say. And sometimes, what you need to know is sometimes the same people that are up in your business, they really are suffering from something. When someone is busy poking or trying to make you feel bad about something, it's all because they are also going through something and they feel like I'm in a bad space and I need someone to actually be in this bad space with me. So I'm not gonna be suffering alone. I need someone to come with me. And of course, if you allow that, it means that you are gonna be on the same page as them. That's what they want. They don't want to feel all the pressure alone, but they want a company. So it's all up to you. Are you going to choose to do that or not? If you can remember the previous video, we spoke about the power or the, 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 what, the ability to control your life. You know, how to, the process of being able to take control of your life, right? So, of course, taking control of your life is also identifying the things that are good, that are bad. Identifying the things that you cannot do, that you can do. The things that you can focus on, the things that you can allow in your system, the things that you can allow in your life. Whatever that you consume from your, the outside, right? So, that is very important. So... How it's linking to Avandiva Zotini syndrome. You realize that a lot of people get into depression because of the life that they put out there or the pressure that they have. The, actually, the pressure that they put themselves in is not the pressure that someone else puts them in, okay? Because we can talk about teenagers, we can talk about young adults, we can talk about older people. Unfortunately, with today's life, it's no longer this is only happening to the young generation. This is only happening to the older generation. Different, different groups of uh, people in life, they have their own competition. They have their own way of just trying to fit in and all that. And then where am I getting with this? So sometimes you want to live a specific kind of life just because you want to be... Um, to fit in just because you want people to know you as this kind of person or to, or to see you as this particular person and of course that results to you not living a truthful life you end up doing things because other people think or because you want to fit into a specific category of people right a specific class i'll make an example sometimes you want to be associated as a person who's rich when you know exactly that you are middle class you are not rich you don't have it you don't have it all you don't have all the money to flesh out but you do that every now and again you post post pictures with your champagnes and uh, holidays whatever and you only doing that with the money that is really not meant for that 
we, you could be investing that money on something else or doing something else as much as you have that money to go to that trip does not mean that you really need to because you if you're doing it for the wrong reasons then what's the point if you're doing it to please someone else what is the point if you are doing it to be seen by someone what is the point what is the point right so let me give you a quick story about my experience so i dropped out of the university a couple of years back and before i dropped out i really was struggling with Avantibazotini syndrome so what happened was it was difficult for me to actually take a decision because i wanted to drop out i was drowning i was not doing well in my studies and i was not happy with what i was doing but it was so difficult it took me about like a couple of months almost six to six months to a year to actually come to that decision where i decided i'm gonna drop out i thought about what my friends what my family what people in my community are gonna say because i'm dropping out and all of that i really had that problem i was worried about those people and obviously eventually i got to 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 really get over that and make that decision because it was now getting hectic and hectic so what is my point my point is often you would be stuck in wanting to do something and that can even lead you to depression because at some point i felt like i was getting into depression because nothing was working out when i woke up going to school i was not happy i was just drained all the time because i was not happy with what i was doing it was just a mess i was just not myself and that was affecting a lot of things in my life not only my family not only myself my studies like everything around me was just not going right until of course i made that decision to say i'm gonna drop out and of course I was thinking about Avantibazotini syndrome, like Avantibazotini, what will people say when I drop out and all that. So the minute I stopped doing that, a lot of things really um, started to clear up. I started to open my eyes, I started to be more happy and actually do the things that I want. I stopped worried about what others, others have to say because often we worry about what others have to say and that those same people, they are not doing anything for you. They're not a zilch. They, they don't do anything for you. You don't even ask money for transport. You don't even ask money for lunch from them. That like they are not doing anything for you. They're not even related to you. It's just people that are bored just paying attention on, like to other people's businesses. And of course, here's another thing. And I will be repeating myself, but it's a point that I need to emphasize. Often when something happens, you think that people are on your business. But if you start talking about what is happening and tell people what you're going through, whatever, that is when you allow them to actually be in your business. So I don't really have time to be telling people that I dropped out of university. I wasn't doing well. I, I didn't have time for that. I didn't do that. I focused well. I dealt with my current syndrome and my situation and I tried to deal with things that I was going through and the, 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 the pain of not being able to complete my studies, dropping out, going to another university. So I dealt with the problem at hand. So that's why sometimes you fall into depression because you are really focused on what others have to say. It's not a depression that is happening because of what's happening around you or whatever. It's something that you bring within yourself. So there is a way to prevent that. You can prevent that by doing what? By understanding that people will talk. People will always have something to say. People will always have something good or bad to say. It's all up to you what you allow. And it's all up to you what you tell people. Do not really tell people your business. Do not tell your people um, what you are doing, what you are up to and all that. Know what to say and what not to say. Know what you have to say to who and what not to say to who. So you have a circle of people that you can trust, that you can talk to. But the whole world, come on. The whole world, come on. Really? The whole world? You cannot please everyone in this world. You really cannot please the entire world. The whole world doesn't need to know your business. 
even the people in your life don't really need to know each and everything that is happening in your life you do not owe anyone next you don't yeah i wanted to use the s word you do not owe anyone yeah shit mm, i said it you don't owe anyone anything so it's important it's important for you to understand that your life is your life all right and people will always have something to say so learn to have a group of people that you can trust a group of people that you can confide in to tell your plans and all that but as a matter of fact telling them your plans does not mean you have to now dish out everything to them no if they are your family your support structure then it's understandable but the whole world doesn't need to know what's happening in your life the whole world doesn't need to know what your plans are they don't need to know they do not care they do not know the minute you start putting them or allowing them to be in your business that's when they're going to start caring do not tell your plan to other people because you have people that will try to crush those plans you have people that will be jealous of your plans so abandua zotini syndrome it's something that you really need to avoid and also this is something that is a very 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 important we understand that the pandemic has really affected a lot of us it has affected a lot of us either financially physically and all that it's either you've lost money, you've lost a business, you've lost your job, you've lost someone in your family, you have lost something either way. If you haven't, good for you. Just appreciate that and hold on to that. Bona, we are grateful for you. And you are a reason for us to believe that there's still hope that everyone who has lost something can actually recover from all of that. So if you are amongst those that have lost something, throughout the process of this pandemic it's okay to downgrade it's okay to go and uh, trade your car for a smaller car it's okay to trade your house for a smaller house but of course that's if you're renting but if you have bought property and all that that is an investment so depending on how things are if you have higher expenses that are killing you it's okay to downgrade it's okay to, to downgrade there is nothing wrong do not care about what others will say about you if now you're gonna have to downgrade and not have a car at all it's still okay you can still use uber or you can ask your friends to pick you up it's okay it's okay it's no one else's business it's no one else's business so do not worry about what people will say because of the kind of lifestyle that you used to live hey bona live in la jiga what that means is that there's a time when things are rough and there's a time when things are good so some situations are temporary that's why i'm really not even concerned about you know worrying about um well i am concerned about how our country the economy is going and all that but i'm not really worried about a situation that you find yourself in today because tomorrow can be a different day tomorrow can be a day where things become better for you the more you remain focused the more you focus on the right things the more you focus on the things that can help you to get to another level the better it is for you or the better it will be for you to actually even see when greater things are coming so some things are temporary don't even worry about it something that some things are really temporary so my last point to you this video might be a bit long but it had to be because this conversation we really need to we, we really needed to have okay so my last words my last words to you is whew, my last word to you is do not compare yourself with other people do not allow people in your business do not put your business out there do not leave a lie don't fake it they say fake it until you make it hi you want to know the kind of fake it until i make it kind of situation that i did what i did when i was still in tertiary what i used to do I always had a picture of myself walking into an office with a laptop looking all nice and formal and all that that's how I used to fake it 
each and every time well most of the time when i go to school when i go to class i would present myself in a way that i'm actually in my office and doing all of that that's how i faked it until i made it until i was able to be in my office and do all of that and it happened just like that so that is a different kind of way of making it and like faking it until you make it but the kind of faking until you make it that i'm seeing right now it's really not it so don't fake it right do you boo focus on you focus on yourself don't worry about what others have to say because they will always say something they will always have something to say so if you're gonna allow that then hi good luck if you're gonna allow that hi good luck my drink is finished the topic is still hot there's still more that we can talk about this topic there's still more that we can touch on this but all i'm saying to you that you are my people and all i want for you is to understand that this disease we're not gonna allow not in 2021 not in 2022 not ever we're not gonna allow that we're gonna stay on your lane and of course do us right so we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching until this time i love and appreciate you do comment and tell me what you have been suffering from and then just be honest about it and of course tell me how you're gonna get out of it okay and of course attack someone who might be going through the same thing don't forget to like 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 and of course subscribe if you haven't so yeah i love you always i gotta go <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. <laughs> Ooh, was it was she sir? Long to long to long to long to mm.